how much easy golf that is. Easy like. golf that was. Like. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a shame you can't see both sides of the camera. I just ran into a mangrove and nearly capsized. <laughs> G'day, my name is Luke, and this is my wife Jen, and here are our two growing boys, Liam and Elliot. We've been fishing, boating, and exploring the pristine waters surrounding Gary Fraser Island and Harvey Bay for well over a decade now, and we want to share with you everything we have learnt along the way. So hit that subscribe button, sit back, and enjoy the adventure. Today we're doing something really, really simple which anybody with a trailer boat can do. Um, it's, a, it's a great little day trip, very, very simple, and it's really good if you're a little bit iffy about the wind forecast. Um, this time of year, sort of September onwards, uh, early out, early back is the general rule because um, the wind tends to pick up from nine o'clock in the morning onwards. When you've got those forecasts where it's just you know, 10 knots all day, happy days. But when there's a few spikes in there, uh, this sort of trip is absolutely perfect. We've come over not very far from Kingfisher Bay Resort. We're just going to fish the flats, which we have done heaps of time on heaps of our videos, which you can go back and watch. Looking for flathead brim and whiting. Uh, got the paddleboard, bit of exploring along the mangrove edges up into the creeks and stuff, and just good family fun today. So, let's see what we get up to. Friends. Now there's a towel in where the rod locker is. You know, get a measuring mat and get grippers. I'll get the good look grippers. Elliot, can you, Elliot, can you put that down the back? Look how much he's in golf that he's lure. He's in golf that clutch. He's Hang on. Golf that is completely gone. How big? I'll find out. Golf the double clutch. Look at that. He's hammered that. Okay, so I've paddled down uh, Bumbung Creek and the tide is on the way out so it was a little bit of a tough paddle not that tough but i had to actually work um getting into the creek so now i'm just sort of floating out with it and enjoying the scenery <laughs> it's a shame you can't see both sides of the camera i just ran into a mangrove and nearly capsized <laughs> another one okay we might have to try that again that goes for the bloopers reel okay okay so this creek's one of the creeks on the western side of Gari um, we're sitting north of Kingfisher Bay um, probably a couple of kilometers north um, if you look out I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera um, straight out the front here the land that you can see is Big Woody Island. Um, over that side there. I'll just bring the camera around this way. Just see another island in the distance there. Uh, that one is Little Woody Island. Look, I'm poking out. I can see the boys now. It's the boat. Oh my goodness. Something is breaking up over there. Oh, I had myself spooked a bit before because I could hear like big splashes and I didn't see what it was and I was freaking myself out thinking what if there's cocks in here anyway it's hard to tell um, because it's pretty calm where we are at the moment um, but it has been blowing southeasterly winds and the ride over here to Gari was fairly choppy um, definitely not a smooth ride we've definitely had worse but um, yeah perfectly safe but not as comfortable as it can be so we've been able to tuck in to the island and it's nice and calm I can paddle because um, as soon as there's a bit of wind um, or chop or that sort of thing it's not really suitable for paddling um, and the boys have been able to do some fishing and some exploring I really love paddling um, in the mangroves it's just um, there's so much to see 
and it's really hard to pick up on the camera because everything gets spooked so easily. But I see rays, turtles, um, heaps and heaps of fish, um, baby fish, bigger fish. Um, it's just such a beautiful spot. I'm pretty lucky. Sandflies don't usually bother me. Um, so there probably are some sandflies here. I can see lots of little bees, native bees flying around as well. Um, and they don't cause any problems. So yeah, so I've just tied up and just hanging out here. I might put the camera under water and see if there's any fish. He's either not very big or he doesn't know he's hooked yet. It's decent. You want the net? Yeah. Yeah, it's that good. Oh. Oh yeah, oh it's a big flatty, I think. Put a bit more pressure on it. Yeah, he, he just didn't know he was hooked. Oh, that is annoying. That does not want to come to the boat. Just don't move the net because every time he sees movement. Okay, come up closer to me. I'm going to keep his head this way. See? Well, he's got a lot of go, eh? He's not ready yet. Ready him? <laughs> yeah! Alright, can you hold him there for a sec? What I'll do... Get the measure right out. Yeah, what I'll do is if you just... You just is that lure out? Yeah. Yep, okay. So bring the net so I can just get the lure out. He's popped the lure. How many times do they do that? Mate, sorry. Homemade paddle tail. I haven't used it in a while. Yeah. Just spat out this. I don't know what that used to be, but it's a beautiful fish. We'll give him a uh, give him a measure now, and we'll see what he what he comes in at. Nice fish. Oh, he is ready to go. He is ready. Oh, under the folks on the board for the day. Um, I feel good now because Liam has been toweling me today when it comes to fishing. Um, even though, as you've seen, we had to do some heroics, or you will see, I don't know where I'll put it in this video, but the dad bod got revealed to find the, uh, find the cod. So yeah, a little homemade uh, placky, little um, paddle tail. Um, there's a few older videos that have got lots of that in there with the uh, shh, don't tell them the secret juice on it. So, anyway, we'll keep going. I don't know where Liam, uh, Elliot, and Jenna are. Oh, yeah, there they are. They're off exploring the beaches now. That's what I'm wondering. Don't scare it. Don't scare it. I have no idea. Don't scare it. I have no idea why there is an echidna on the beach, but do not scare it. That's crazy. I don't know why. It's an echidna! Really? I feel like it's a bit lost. It's a bit lost. How'd he get across the mud? He's got tiny legs. He How flies. did you get across the mud? Buddy, how have you done this? Oh, hey. I've ever seen a massive there. I have hey, seen him. I don't know if I've seen one this close. How'd you go? Woo! <laughs> Almost fell in at the last second. A win not, but we redeemed ourselves. 
ourselves with a beach echidna. A beach echidna. Yep, that's worth a thousand points, so we're the winners. Beach echidna, a thousand points. I hope it's okay. It seems a bit lost, but yeah, it's, it's heading lost, back. Oh, you might just want to go for a walk on the beach. Maybe, and then it saw us and then they had to go back the other way. Oh, Dad's letting me do this. Take that. Look at that. You got the other camera, dear? You reckon it's a flathead? Could be a stingray. It wasn't even on the bottom, so it's not a stingray. Could be a long time. Oh, yeah, it could be. Oh, that's it. Is that one on there? Yeah. Make sure it's pointing the right way. Could be grunter. Anchor lock is on. Okay, what I'm going to do, Liam, Elliot, go down the back. Liam, stop pulling. I'm going to go towards it gently with the electric. Slowly moving it. Could be a sting rack. Oh, yeah, we're just, we're just gently motoring over to it. Just remember, you got a really light gear. We don't know yet. Oh, we don't know. Could be on that little snag there. All right, it's now. Yeah, yeah, I know. It could be on that rock. Okay, now I'm going to slow. Okay, just if it's on the rock, you're going to have to give him line. Snap it. What's that? He's in a hole. Yeah. It's a cod. It's a cod. Oh, 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 oh. Cheeky thing. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. You can actually see where it is. Right there. It's a cheeky cod. Just uh, tighten it up. No, no. The rod will snap. It's right, the boat is right on top of the boat. No, no. Just so I can see where the hole is. Okay, yeah, right, you can see the commotion in the hole. Right, so you need to see where the hole is. We need to go this way to get him out, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to jog us slightly left. What do you reckon it would have been? I don't know, mate. But it, yeah, it could be, it'll be a cold. Is he out yet? No, he's, he's just there. Right, now I'm going to go this way just a touch. I'm just going to go this way a touch, just to... Okay, we're going to go over there now. Yeah, it's just the wind's making it hard, mate. I'm going to take it off anchor lock. You're in the way, folks. Don't go too hard. Let's be patient. What even do you what even does I don't know, mate. It's pretty a cod. Big cod. Wouldn't be that big up here because that this drains we'll wait we'll wait till it drains then yeah okay then we'll go high and dry you fish. we wait for hours yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> she done it all just run with me oh, okay just tighten it up here he's buried right under it okay so if I can get close enough, see where there's the sand on the left hand side, you can get your rod tip right down low so the lines are not on the rod. Yeah? And then we might be able to just put some in the um. Right. I've got to get the boat in the right. So this fish is in a little cave just there. It's so cool that we can see it. It's like literally half a metre of water. Oh, oh like we could walk oh, out. Yeah, you can actually see the fish. No. no, I can feel it. It's pulling in the hole. Oh, sorry, I thought you said it was cooey, but I was like, how did you tell that from the... <laughs> so, 
now we wait. We need to convince him. Chuck another lure. Send Elliot in there. Dive in. You know, we could actually probably just get out. How deep is it on the sander? So that's actually over there on that corner. Is it caught? There, now that's come off there. Did he lean to rail or what? Sponsored by Bonds. So you're holding the fish as a trophy. <laughs> that, was a, that was a very different catch. Yeah, that that's time. a very different sort of experience to get this fish. <laughs> you really wanted that lure back. Definitely one I won't forget. <laughs>